Well, we started recording a record in March of 2012 and have been slowly chipping away at progress on it. I would say in the last couple years, the band's kind of made a, taken a concerted effort to really work on the sound of the group. It was really important to us that we, 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 with respect to this record and everything going forward, we did it exactly the way we wanted to. And it took a lot of rehearsing and a lot of, you know, collaboration, and it it was great. And this this record is the sum total of that. So we had a projected release date for May seventh. Is that right? Mm -hmm. May seventh. Mm -hmm. And we had every snag you could imagine on the way. When we set that date, we fully intended to release on that date, and we thought we were going to be ready by then. I mean, I remember thinking I had just been swimming in these tracks, and we needed somebody, I think we all agreed, we needed somebody else to come in and give us a new perspective on the album. So then we kind of frantically scrambled, and we, we kind of went around town and um, got a few other engineers on the project to just kind of try their hand at the project. and. It, it, none of a, none of the, these other guys worked out. All these guys were talented and great, but it just still something was missing from the original vibe of the music. We've already missed our deadline, you know. And it was just killing. It was killing me. It was keeping me up at night. So we had the option to release the record uh, late summer in, in the not so complete form, or I realized I was going to have to learn how to mix myself to some extent. And Matt Melly, the engineer that we were working with, helped me a lot. Um, and I learned a lot. It took me a co another couple months to kind of learn how to do the things that I wanted to do. I just locked myself in this room for like two months and, and learned how to do um, what I could do to help finish the project. All the while I was running what I was doing by Reed and the rest of the band and they were giving me positive feedback kind of saying, hey, this is working. This is more like the record that we set out to make. He just taught himself how to do something that takes most people much more time than it took him and then he mixed a, a rock band record, I mean a rock record with with that knowledge and it's, it wasn't an easy rock record to mix, there was so much going on, nuance and, and some overdubbing that we did after the fact that it just was a, was a total nightmare. At least with me, I mean I, I was, there were plenty of times where I said well I think that's, that's the best that we can do right now and I think both of us, especially Matt, on the, during the process of this, that wasn't enough. Like at any time that that would pass through our heads, you've got to second guess that. Well, is that the best we can do? Because I think we can do better. It was taxing, time consuming, but we had to, I mean, this was it for us. We, we put so much into this album. It meant so very much to all of us. We had to just make sure that we did everything we could to make this as good as possible. And that sometimes meant going in the studio and spending time on stuff that would not even make it on the album. This particular apartment, I kind of call it like my little tree house. Of all the places I've lived since I graduated high school, I've lived here the longest. Um, just because it's got a cool vibe. This room has a cool vibe to it. I wrote most of the, the new record in, in these walls, in this room. I actually did the percussion here and, and the, the background vocals here. I think the tambourines and the shakers sound great on this record. <laughs> and they were all done like within a three foot space of where we're sitting right now. <laughs> and then the backgrounds were done in the closet back there. And they sound perfect. <laughs> it's appropriate that the record ended up being finished here too, right back here at, at my desk. I mean, I think that the, maybe the vibe of this place did, did find its way into the record somehow. The, the previous two recordings that we have, they're snapshots of where we were in our maturity as a band, but the difference for this, this new album was just that we would capture in the studio the energy that we've only, up to now, only been able to achieve during a live show. The sound of the record has always ended up being about a year or two behind where we were presently, like when the record came out. I think this is the first time we've actually made a record that's that represents our like contemporary sonic aesthetic the best. It's just, it's a, literally a new record instead of like a studio representation of songs that we've been playing for years. But we've kind of gotten, we've, through this work that we've, the time we've taken the last couple of years, we've really, um, I think, come to something that we're really proud of. And I, I can honestly say it's, it's much closer to what I initially 
<clears throat> envision for the band. There's no old band and new band. I mean, there are new people in the band, but it's still, you know, we would have changed the name if we were that intent on changing people's idea of who we were. I just think the, the new record and the, new, the way we play the old songs live now is just, it's more mature emotionally, musically, creatively. It's just, you know, it's what happens when you go from playing in a band when you're 20 to playing in a band when you're 25. We were record, we were playing those songs live way better than we were recording them. Mm -hmm. And one of the main, we kind of learned from that, I think, and one of the main goals of this new project was to capture in the studio what we do live. And I think we finally figured out how to do that with this project. There was a lot of, or some trial and error for sure, to, to try to get what was going on in our heads to sound like what was going on coming out of the speakers. It's amazing how many people around the band want you to be finished. Just, no, it's good, it's good. No, 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 that's, that's great. I don't hear what you're talking about. You're, you're, it's ready to go, you're ready. You can't expect them to, to hear what you hear when you, when you hear all the mistakes of your project, you know? Every great business, every great project needs somebody like that that will just not stop driving the train. And I am not that way by nature. I'm that way because I'm, <laughs> I have to be in business with him. I mean, the process was grueling, but I think that's the reason it sounds as, and we can be as proud of it as, as we are. I think that the most important characteristic of a, of a record is that it vibes. And I always felt that way, but I know that now, and I feel that now more than ever after going through what we've been through the last nine months or so. I do really feel like we we represented our vibe. These lyrics tell a, a, a story that at least can be taken one way pretty easily. I mean, it, they're just... I don't know. They're, they're, more, they're easier for me to get inside now. I've never heard you be so analytical. About that? About mm -hmm. anything? Mm -hmm. Wow. I went on a juice cleanse last week and maybe that's maybe that opened up a new... The band has gotten, I feel like, really good and, and, and the, I trust the people on stage. I think that's the X Factor is that, it, I mean, it really is at its core like six guys that are playing their asses off. I was driving with Matt Mullen, who played guitar on this on the record. He's, he's our guitarist, the guitar player in the band. There are two or three solos on this on this record that are just smoking guitar solos. He's got this janky rig. I mean, old fucked up pedals, you know, and an old amp that sometimes works. And I'm sure he'd like to have nicer equipment, but he doesn't. And it it works on this album. It's just. It's raw and live and sh kind of shitty. And, yeah. And it's 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 his sound. I feel like Reed has really gotten more confident as a singer too. I'm sure that's part of it. That the band is he really trusts his band behind him. I mean, everybody really brought their A game. I feel like to to the recordings, and everybody had it, it, meant, it meant something to the entire band. And and I think you can hear that in the music. Is that wishful thinking? I hope that you can hear that in music. Uh, def well, I mean, we can. I, I, we can hear it because we were there, but I, I think that people will hear that this was a personal project to, to not just the band leader and songwriter and the singer, it's also a personal project to everybody who was recording. So we had to do it right, and, and we did. And it took me learning how to do some mixing myself to do it, but it also meant another adding another, what? Two or three months? Yeah, two or th another two or three months of the project. But hopefully in the long run, everyone will be glad we did it the way we did. It'll definitely be worth the wait. Yeah, hopefully. No. Yes? I promise, <laughs> man. I promise it's worth the wait. <laughs> just, go ahead, just go ahead and make that guarantee. Yeah, it's, it, I it guarantee is worth the wait. It's worth it. <laughs>